race number four. Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli on port entry. Ineos Team UK on starboard entry. And the battle is about to resume on the Hauraki Golf on course E. Out about the back paddock Maraitai, which is a meeting place by the sea. What a meeting place it is to say the least, but fresh on now with under five minutes to go on this man here. We've been listening to them before. This is the up to four, almost four years now of a campaign and you don't want to be in this position. But you might be and you better have the mental fortitude to actually handle it when if it comes because Nathan, as we all know, there's times of, of drama in any program, in any sport, in any athletic competition. You got to be ready to handle it. And I think Ben Ainsley's obviously proven that he can handle it. Uh, don't worry, he'll be up for this. This is this is not far from winning a race. He's only been a few seconds behind a couple of hundred meters. It's not like he's a very long way behind at all. This is the race committee. The wind sampling period is complete and this race will start on schedule. That's all we want to hear is the race on schedule. Surely the race is on schedule. We're all good to go. We've had a little bit of time now. Uh, is there a condition change, breeze change? Give us a give us a rundown, please. Can be a, a little bit less width than we've seen. I've seen 12 to 14 knots. We're currently sitting behind the star box and there's a great view of, of the wind coming down in bands. It's like it's falling off the landing on the sea. So difficult to call. Uh, it heads out the boat kind of position. I think for Ben Ainsley, you know, he's, he eats pressure. He thrives on it. And uh, I think we're going to see fireworks here. We have to see fireworks. Thanks, Shirley. It's great to have your eyes in the skies up there. Andrew Campbell on the water. Is there any difference in the setup of the boats? Have they got similar jibs on any changes that we can see? Chase back guys probably go above the chase. Both went jib down between the stars, but they're both back up on what would look like the J3s. You know, this is the condition that these boats were built and designed to sail in. Man. It's about as nice as you can ask for these races to go off in. So we're going to see some really nice stuff out of that. For a picnic <laughs> going 44 knots. <laughs> Two minutes and 10 seconds they are allowed into the free start area. Luna Rosa, Prada Pirelli. Now, will they control the start? Will they control the start? Will they be allowed to control the start? Will Super Ainsley give them an inch? You are about to find out as Luna Rosa come in on the yeah. inch and it won't be too far away. With the right hand side of your screen as in comes Ineos Team UK. Okay. Nice. Okay. okay. Stand by, Jive. Yep, stay here. Yeah. Two, one, boat or down. Do that okay, down. high box down. move, and they're actually turning up into it slightly right now and trying to slow down. When the two boards go down, Coming. Nathan, these boats are actually purposely trying to slow oh, down so they don't use okay. up all that space okay, in the start box too quickly. Yeah, exactly. And they're, they're, hits, hey, they're doing 30 knots, yep. but they are sailing at okay. not full speed right now. And that's because there's just not enough space in this box. What's going to be most here. interesting oh. here is the two around time from Carter, and he's then going to jump them. Or is he going to go past and push them back? He's going to follow the conversation on board. We're not killing 55, we're killing 50. Boundary 19 away. Let's have a look at him. Drive in front of him hard, set up, let's get ready. He's killing 35. Down. There's still a lot of time. Turning hard here. Maybe a re-roll here. Turning hard, turning up all the way. Yep. Okay. Re-roll. Water. Okay, set up, let's crossing. 
Lay line still five away. Ready, two, one, board down. Okay, got it. Go, uh, triple out, triple out. Different scenario though, that actually closed up Nathan much more than we thought there at the end. Ineos was late, but not real late, and it actually kind of stuck the Italians into a weird spot. They were actually a little early for the pin end of the start. Let's go back yeah, to roll. start. Water. Yeah. 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 He's fast. He's fast. He gets oh, massive here. Massive here. Oh, oh, coming up in this race, you guys. This is a big moment coming up to the boundary. Yeah, it's going to be a tight oh, cross oh, by oh, Luna Rosa, oh. not by much. Okay, by they go early, yeah, Nathan, yeah, to yeah. give themselves a gap out on that right side if they need to. Again. Right up. Yeah, but Luna Rosa aren't giving them much space. They're uh, going to have to sail right, set up. out of here. Go. Attack back again. Ready, there's not one much down. The boundary is there, Andrew Campbell. Hey, go. They had the short part of the racetrack, and you're seeing that Ineos is going to have to go right oh, back, okay. and they're not going to have a lot of time to build here on port. You know, the heels is not your friend for the play control in that three start. And there's just like moments where you can't get going in the water, but really I'm happy to see it easily able to take off in this 12 14 knots of breeze. So you're a flight back in the race. You're a flight controller, Andrew. So what, what do you think happened there? Give us, give us a little rundown. So again, Andy setting up. Yeah, without being on board, it's always impossible to know these guys. Are like really hard to make sure the platform is level through all these maneuvers. But all three boards, or two boards and the rudder are in the water. It takes a lot of coordination on board any of between three guys often to keep the boat down. And, and uh, one thing goes wrong if one guy's not quite in the right spot in his optimum, then we can all go haywire really quickly. Here we are just stuffing your competitor to the top of the screen, to the short side of the race course. This is turning into the grinding world championships here. Again. Yeah, pushing through him here. I think we're almost clear ahead. Yeah, yeah. Clear ahead of him here. Okay. Speed's good. Good pressure. Performance here, ragazzi. So, mission coming up. Sitting around 36 knots. Little Rosa Prado back to the free side. Look at this. Look at this moment. At this pre start of race number four. What must be going through Ben Aziz's head right now? Fast, Reminders fast. of a couple right, weeks up. ago, unfortunately, I think all of us well, I think ben 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 around the world ben 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 watching the America's Cup. If you, if you saw a couple weeks ago, and unfortunately the boat that Andrew Campbell was on, you just saw, you, you kind of have that same feel for it. Oh. We can theorize what happens there, but I think we're going to have to wait till after this race and find out at the press conference what, what exactly Go happens. Go well, well, pitch. Looks like when the winning ball comes, there's a big heel. There's a big heel. He almost lost the ball. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. You know what? Oh, I had to go pressure back ahead, to huh? the oh, pressure. Yeah, yeah, you know, right there. Ago, yeah. You talk about there could be one moment where something breaks, something happens, it could change the face of this regatta. We almost got it. Well, we almost just lost the city there at the same time. Even that was close, said that. When that boom goes flying down on the traveler, that becomes a dangerous situation very quickly. I must apologize for some uh, colorful language coming off the boats at the moment, but and we move on. It's sport. Yeah, 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 go to Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli is 150 meters into the sky with Shirley Robertson. Not the start they wanted in the Eos. Oh, but definitely the start, Stephen, that Luna Rossa wanted. They must be feeling so confident in this position. It's almost carbon copy of race one. Uh, to me, the breeze looks great. It's good on the right-hand side. And um, you know, Luna Rossa have really just had idiots exactly where they wanted. Little soft patch here. Approaching the top gate for the first time in a race okay, number four three, again. It is a six-leg race. One, Both boats have phased the moment that the uh, final tech to head into the gate for the All right, up. Press. Uh, press. 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 Yep. Rosa Prada Pirelli, the challenger of record, doing everything right on the second day okay, of the race in the Prada Three, Cup final. Two, Top gate one, for the first time, clear. hitting on the downwind leg. Up, up. But right on I their will. tail, 
Yeah. In EOS Team UK. Big down in three, two, one. Now. In this race, as we would expect. Okay, down two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, Position again. If you're, if you're a British fan right now, you're starting to get a little nervous. Things aren't going your way. The aren't going your way. Once again, Luna Ross and John to get in phase. They're just in phase with the competition here. Okay, and yeah, now. There is a pressure coming now. There is less pressure in the middle of the course. Yeah. Pressure coming on the boundary. Amazing when you hear on board the communication between all, all the protagonists. Long this way, guys. Long this way. So not, not rushing control. each other. Yeah. Open it your speed. The controllers on this boat is the opposite helms person. The helms person on the right side of the boat, Jimmy Spithill, is actually the flight controller right now while Francesco Bruni drives. And your friend Pietro is really big, becomes the eyes out of the boat, Nathan, on, on these, especially on these rocks. And he's been getting more and more involved every race. I think he's growing confidence in that position. And the helms are trusting him more and more every race. Side, so uh, it's, it's a great dynamic that's developing, developing there. Is it a dynamic that can take them all away? All the way. That's right here. To the match. Would be something you'd want to start asking if this blows out to a 4 0 lead at the end of the day. Match went off because it was something that no one expected to see. Twin Helmsman. Twin Helmsman. Whoever would have thought. And sharing is caring. 4 0. Okay, 22 will come quickly with an up. I would say 4 0 is almost insurmountable. A little bit lighter in here. Let's set up. Crossing Climbing out of a few holes during the Olympic on career exit. in the past Two, and, uh, one, one and down. chewing up the competition. He matches. The 16th tee box. What, what was it? It's just just as many Sorry guys, this race isn't over. He'll go on lay line as well. We'll follow him in and then catch up in JK. So we're just keep listening on board, keep listening to what I have to say as they approach the bottom mark here. Come on, Belay Line 22 away. I think you can trust the number. Three years of hanging a little bit in the right there. Yeah, it looks better on the left hand side of the course up this next work. Copy, well, uh, that's good for the JK then. Okay, 10 seconds, Blitz. Copy. Setting up. Crossing. Three's just coming left there, getting further away with the lay line. Okay, when ready. Still seven seconds. He jives here on lane. Okay, okay two, two one, four down, turning. My rake, my drop. Voices on board, okay. Right behind us. A little, little, little bit on the quick like side, that's okay? Under stress, that's Copy. for sure. That's coming up. My drop. Yeah, Here's the difference, Stephen, is, is uh, Luna Rosa likes to breeze left, he just said, and the other boat likes it right, or, or uh, right. 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 I think they're going to go opposite right. direction, yeah. how's that? <laughs> I think we got to just here. Yeah. Might be 10 seconds. Yep. 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 Trip, yeah, one try, trouble up, boys. Oh, good, good. Surely, it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, risk like it should be more pressure. Uh, okay. The Italians yeah. were okay. talking about the right side. Which yeah. side would yeah. surely yeah. be yeah. side with a double gold medal? Yeah. 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 We had a little lag when we charged with my cell on the left here. Yeah, yeah. It just looked pretty solid far right. Yeah, I think you're right. We're going to take it just over against the way back left. If we're back to that two pieces, you know, on, on each side, looks great on the left hand side by the spectator view, but it also looks good coming down the gap on the right hand side. And I guess if I was to pick a side, I'd be hanging out to the right. The right hand shift right now, as our course indicator shows, so both boats probably going in the right direction. 
the left. Andrew, can uh, Ineos find a little lefty before they yeah, get to the boundary? The pressure is still on the I mean, that's the beauty of these racetracks, is that they're just not wide enough to give yourself a lot of leverage. And so right when you're whipping up in a nice righty here, it's just about time to tack. And so you're going to find Prada in nice control out of the exit of this one. Probably like they did. Probably hit him hard and push him back to the short side of the course. This time is the left side of the course. That's my guess, Andrew. What do you think? Yeah, I would definitely look for these guys to hit him on this exit. I got it. Turn it. This is the umpire's JBR boundary penalty. JBR boundary penalty. What? Look at our track. Penalty clear. Frustration developing too. You hear Ben. That was a comment to the umpire. That wasn't a comment to people on board. Here it is. Yeah, what well, you see there is the boat doesn't actually go out of bounds, but there's an area around the back of the boat. It's a, a diamond shape. It's about a meter that it goes around. So that diamond must have just gone over the boundary. Remember, this is not speculative. This is done digitally. So the boats have measurement devices, GPS measurement devices all over them uh, to within about, a, they, they say, a couple centimeters. So. This isn't guesswork. This isn't. This isn't just guesswork. If it goes over the boundary. Went over the boundary. Yep. The basic thing we get the joy of watching the virtual line. You can see see how it unfolds and, and it makes watching the these AC seventy five and America's Cup twenty twenty one so much more fascinating as well. But it could be easily. Yeah, you're, right, you're frustrated though. You, I totally agree with Nathan. You're starting to hear a little bit of frustration in a calm, cool, and collective Can't voice in his. Pressure for us here, It's coming. Faces of us. Three of the six grinders. Boundary this way. Any us team you can. Any you can. Nice pressure here. Grind for the championship if they grind to put pressure into these. Well, there's Freddie Park here. in front of the boat, they're just charging on the handles nice and there. the whole, the whole goal that they're Set doing up. is they're creating Coffee. hydraulic pressure. Yeah. People just think they turn handles and they aren't making decisions. But the little buttons and switches with their feet, that is, you know, deciding where the energy is going. Is the energy going to the main ship or going to the cunning hand? You know, you've got all the displays in front of them. They know the pressure's going to go to. They'll be shifting gears, you know, okay, we need to change the gears. This boat's got a set of handles for each individual, so they, they'll be measuring what they're doing, and each person has a role to play on that boat. And I suppose in terms of design philosophy, got options it's back to the right turn lane line from here. How's it look well, up? they've still got the eight grinders there, but we each go. of them's got their own set yeah. of handles, and they're Left actually like allowing a flight weight. controller to be to lure it, not grinding. Okay, we save and a move here, set you, up um, the left then. Switch across the, the left boat, as well. You know, on the other side of that, that's yeah. Chris Brittle there. And uh, man, look nice at them go. They just, they don't see the race at all. They are turning, looking at their screens okay. and just adding, adding power so that Ben Giles and the guys in the back of the boat can throw it around there and you They're on late. Right yeah. there. Set up. Crossing. Sal with Chris Brittle before he can produce a lot yep. of power when you need it. Same thing going on on this boat. Different setup. I the same the same exact yeah. Yeah. power on the boat. Pressure here. All over. It's coming up a little. Heading towards yeah. the top gate of the halfway three, mark three, in this fourth two, race of the one, Prada Cup Finals. Bruno Rosa, Prada Pirelli haven't been behind yeah, like all day. And they round the mark and hit on the downward leg. But right behind them, Tom. Yeah. I think Yoshi we try and make UK. something happen here. Fairway Jive, huh? Okay. Fairway Jive. Copy. My wheel. So that margin is going straight to boundary. He jives. Carrying away in two. Talking about making something Down. happen on board straight. the boat, Giles, yep. Scott, and Ben Easley. They're going to no roll into a jive here and try to split across the race course. Okay. At least that's what they talked about. All the way to boundary. Good angle. Just like that, they changed the plans on you. That's Thanks, exactly man. what they were saying. Thank you. Try and make something with you. Second tip. Force an issue. Okay, and now they change the plan. Play here. My pitch. Yep. And you saw Prada jive there on their own, make their own Crossing. decision in the open racetrack. I think we're seeing Nine, just a slight right-hand trend for the racing here. Long starboard, double wind, four down. 
definitely a bit of a different racetrack than we were seeing in the first race. So, Andrew, do you think the reason why Ineos didn't jump in here is that they just don't want to be following? They've got to try and find a bit of leverage on this race course, which is pretty narrow yeah, for they... the speed at which these boats go. You're exactly right. The, they were talking about getting a split at the top mark, and by the time they got there, the Rosa had already jived. So that kind of puts that decision-making process in a different light. And uh, they went all the way to boundary to try and get a little bit of leverage to lure them, but it's just, there's just not much out there because it's starting to be a number right-hand racetrack. Decision making, choppy down here now. Sick in decision making. Yeah, but that yeah, was mate. all about just doing pretty choppy. whatever the boat in front yeah, of you yeah, yeah. gives you. So they I think the cans pretty good here though. Jiving, all of a sudden, you didn't. They didn't have a choice. They need to split yeah, the race course. They're not, they're not okay, yeah, right. drag racing down this boat right now. It, this uh, this red and uh, black boat. They're going too well. They got to do something, and surely they're. they're Desperation halfway through the race, that's typically not a good thing. Although, they look like they're in a pretty tight yeah, spot right now. We can see them from on top of there, Shirley. Mark, that's right ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all your side. Yeah. It feels all kind of right now. The, the pressure is coming down that gap of, of Waikiki. And oh, we're and almost in on this. On that side. And, and you're right, we're seeing Vinarossa just make their own decisions now. Go where they want to go. And Quite uh, surprised, really, to hear space ben ben up on us. say that, oh, you know, that we have to make something happen. It's the first time we've, we've heard a, a hint of so desperation short, into their decision making. Yeah, it looks like they're, they're almost in such a right-hand yeah. shift, it looks like they're yeah, almost laying the left part here right. from this position. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so you want to probably do two quick ones? Yeah, maybe you can't quite see Kenny, but they're not far off it, that's for sure. We just heard Jimmy talking about doing two quick jibes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he's still like that left hand turn is so favored with his right wing. There's a big streak coming down the center right hand side of the racetrack. You see Ineos is in that shift now. They're still, they had to come up, almost up the prodded line uh, before they got into that box. So they're not going to make any gains where they were, unfortunately. But when you talk about the one drop us down with Lee, Kazuna Ross and Prada, really, they had the foot to the floor. The accelerator was firmly planted as the, the gap widened out to over 500 meters. And they will take the bottom of the gate and hit on that upwind leg for the last time. They were screaming down there. They still lose a little bit of their need because of these two jobs. But like Andrew and Shirley just said, right here inside the race course is dominant right now. So they had to do the two jibes. And, and also look at how favorite that mark is. It's, it's the short mark around to, to get them quicker up to the, up to the, up to the top gate. So once again here we're going yeah. upwind and you can see the angle of almost difference here. Yeah, it looks like we're also slow. pointing higher than Ineos Team UK and that's yeah, probably just say. shift related. That oh, right hand side of the course is getting more pressure, often more pressure Pretty means you point a little bit higher. Yeah, they're yeah, not I think really you're giving late. any opportunities for Ineos to get back into this race. They, they did the smart yeah. thing, the double jab at the bottom, uh, got around the bottom mark nice and cleanly. They might have thrown away a little bit of the lead yeah, though, okay. you know, as we all yeah. picked up there, that mark was so favoured that Track the shift yeah, is right, the shift right now, Let's and we, uh, it's getting yeah, tougher and tougher for years right now, isn't it? Well, yes. Nathan, the one word is still tight to my watching, the second race and going back to race number three as well, control, and the phrase being in control, do what you want to do to to force any of to try and get that. Course access 40, almost a 19 degree right hand shift uh, reading on our gauges down here, Shirley, and I'm sure it looks like that out in the water. Yeah, it's up, it's right, 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 and it's very long on starboard tack as well. In a really dominant position for Prada. They're in more breeze. We've seen them just getting a little bit more height for that, and they're on the long tack. So. All right, three, two, one. All right, they're not even going to go back to the short side of the race for us, Nathan, and, and, and protect the right that much harder. These guys, they're not being fooled right now by much on, on Luna Rosa. 
impressive. It's as if they can hear Shirley in the Let helicopter the saying the pressure is so much better right. Look, look at that, they, they went yeah, slightly top. to the yeah. left, but they're, they're more or less just protecting the right hand side. Of course, they're actually too far in front now to even give the stern the over competition. They're kind of sailing the wind, keeping competition in check. Yeah. Yeah. Just really well, they? Not just today, but yesterday. They haven't been a lot of foot wrong so far. Whatever they did to the boat post the round of the series for the semi-finals has worked. Has worked. You know, this speed comparison here on the bottom between the two boats. You see the little dips with the attacks and attacking back here once again. We'll see a dip in a second. But on average, you know, they're, they're looking like they've got a speed in. You see the green light is heavily above that orange one. Speak of your average team New Zealand right now. You're looking at these speeds and the gains this boat is made of wind. Are you nervous yet? Well, I've been checking this data against yeah, their own data, and they've been they know what a lot more than we would. We're going to speculate, and I'm pretty sure Team New Zealand are loving the fact that they can watch this racing, get this information that we're all seeing, and uh, they'll know that Lynn and Russell aren't going to know if they're going to be up to, yeah. up to speed come March. Yep. As soon as you mention Emirates Team New Zealand, you go, ah, the great unknown. You've got two teams here that have been racing and racing and racing. The team that's had to find it. It's only little playground. It's only sand for a while. This guy's been spending 85 percent of this leg on starboard tack. Exactly what you want. For the pressure, almost like tack said here, Killer. Coming up. Sure, but the easy button for me, guys. Yeah, coming up, guys. Barrow Eye early, John, boys. Barrow Eye, and they're actually going to go the, the bear away chart and try and get further down the race course, but I think he yeah, thinks it's a lot weaker on the Not right hand right side of the left. Not now. Now. Completing the fifth of six legs of this fourth race of the Prada Cup Final 2021. Three, and again, two, it's Lugarosa. Prada Galak first, leading the way, and they're on their way home in this fourth race. Stand by. Soft here, three, two, one. Andrew, not to, uh, not to bring up the past, but they kind of took the, the easy route out there and uh, probably gave up a little bit of their lead, but, but probably took the same route, right? Who doesn't like a good tech barrel? Yeah, you know? the, uh, the left mark's clearly favored here. You know, it's an easier route. They're not going to get one and in here down this run, but you, there's almost a case where that could happen. Um, uh, not a safer bet, and you know that you're going to do the same behind you, so you're just protecting the geometry here. Good start. Jive in from him. Okay, set up, let's cross it. Two, three, four, down. Two, three, four, down. Two, three, four, down. Two, three, four, down. Oh yeah, from the helicopter, yes, that was super visual. You can see jib car goes forward, the speed up. Grunt the jib up, the same with the main, they can rotate the mast, they can really camber up the main sail so much more. You can see the twin skin main here in action right now. They've got so much power in those sails and as soon as they turn up with it, it goes, boom, and it goes flat again and you, you can see they're really doing really a great job of harnessing the power. You know, down when you, you have less apparent wind so you, you camber it up a bit. This is great camera angles we can see here. And, uh, all the teams I think have the ability to do this but I think the good guys on him all the time. Yeah, it looks a lighter on the finish line, but so uh, like we are uh, carrying the pressure down. That one person's head hanging out to limit. That would be Spithill uh, doing the flight control, right? They've done a nice job of fairings out there. And can you see the, uh, the sail shape differences from the helicopter, Shirley? It's good. Target. No. <laughs> uh, we're, we're a bit further away. We're racing down to give you the finish. Oh. You know, you can't. When they got into the they were saying, oh. but just how they're able to, to really power those sails up. It's, it's so impressive. 
Impressive is a word that will describe Luna Ross and Prada Pirelli in the first four races of this Prada Cup Final 2021. As they head towards the finish line, they are now Obviously only looks good. three races Thanks, away Two, yep. from One. meeting One. the One. defender, Emirates Team New Zealand. And that will be the challenger of record goes up against the hometown uh, boat. Yeah. They have been forced yeah. yet again. Yeah. And like to come across the yeah. line they do. One. Luna Rossa, Prada Pirelli. Yeah. Go nice. four and nice. O. And they oh, have good. announced to this regatta. Ready. It's ready to go. To Not too many high fives, boys. But we oh, are cool, in the boys. seat and their fans on Valentine's Day are feeling the amore. Straight to Barry, that's straight on the ball. Yeah, straight into a long toe, boys. Ineos Team UK. It's been a hit of a story. Here. It's not over yet. Pre Christmas nowhere. Post Christmas 2021 unbeatable. Now they've lost four in a row. What can they do? 41 seconds, the losing margin. What must be going through the mind of Subin Ainsley and this crew? Okay. Get after it, guys. Sorry, it wasn't better. Got them on Wednesday. Wednesday's a long way away. I, I, if you're a British fan, going back to the to the uh, Christmas Cup, the regatta, you can you can make a case they got them right where they want them, right? If you're a British fan, they, they got because they hadn't won a race. They hadn't won a race at all in the year two, uh, 2020. Uh, and then all of a sudden they jumped into the round robin, pulled a couple pulled, pulled a couple levers correctly, and off they went. Well, they dug themselves a hole again. Time to find those levers. If the comparison between the two boats and the performances is almost uh, Luna Rosa, who have never really been good or bad through this whole regatta, have suddenly found another gear. Well, they're sailboat racing right now, right, Nathan? I mean, they're, they're right now, it's the, the crews are making the difference right now. We saw in, in both of these races two really pretty even boats. Yeah, we, we, we definitely did. We saw two pretty even boats. We saw two easy wins for Luna Rosa in the start because of some mistakes from Luna Rosa, and we, we saw them just picking some wind chips. Let's confirm race number four of the Prada Cup Finals in 2021 on the Waitemata Harbour. And it's a 41 second victory to Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli. The score now 4-0 to the challenger of record.